Welcome to the fiscal year 2025 Chip Petty Officer Spending Ceremony for the Group Training Command, Naval Medicine Readiness Training Command, Naval Service Training Command, and Defense Funding Acquisition Systems Command. We will begin momentarily. I am Senior Chief Oscar Chavria, and this is my brother, Chief Petty Officer, Del Bellio. Together, we will be your masters of ceremony for today's event. The ceremony is about to begin momentarily. At this time, we ask that you please silence all cell phones. Feel free to take pictures at any time, except during the playing of the national anthem and invocation. Military members, this will be covered as well. Thank you.
color guard. Retire the colors. Side noise. Post. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather here today to celebrate our newly appointed chief petty officers and their families, we ask for your guidance as we continue with the task of overseeing the deck plates and the continued teachings and learnings of all singers up and down the ranks. Give them as the strength, patience, and genuine perseverance to keep guiding our new brothers and sisters, as well as each other. For we will always continue to learn and grow as a mess. As they don the cover and wear the anchors, give them deep down knowledge of the one who can moor their souls and their convictions in heaviest of fire. They have been prepared, tested, and selected. So may their perseverance as they assume this mantle of guardianship to protect and guide sailors. Bless their incredible families whose love and sacrifice have helped make this day possible. And may you go before them in the new roles they will take as platoon chiefs, departmental chiefs, team chiefs, and other special assignments as Navy chiefs. In your name, I pray. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, we would like to introduce the commanding officer of the crew training command, Captain Kenneth J. Fulberg.
You are our backbone. You are our voice of reason. You are technical competency. Technical competency. And knowing exactly how to do the job the right way the first way. First time, sorry. And so as you embark on this dirty journey, never stop learning. It doesn't just stop today, right? You know, just pin it on and then, and then it's all done. Every day you got to earn it. We don't throw around terms like mess, mess in the fleet lightly. We earn it every day. You all know what that means. So never stop earning the privilege to be an ABC. To be the leader who you know your name needs that I need. And with that, make our culture the one that you're proud of. Make our culture the one that your family is proud of. And your children will be proud of. And your children's children will be proud of. Our mark is temporary. But our legacy can be forever. Make it the right one. Choose the path that's taught by. Choose the higher path and make this name. The name that we're all proud to serve a symbol of freedom around the world. Who are you at? Ladies and gentlemen, let's stop talking. Let's continue the show. Thank you very much. Thank you, Captain. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, shipmates, it is my pleasure to introduce Command Master Chief of Recruit Training Command, Command Master Chief. Van Troy Sevilla Martinez. Good afternoon. This is where you get included, your families. Good afternoon. Let, let's start with the first F of five of the day. The check on was you will silence all cell phones before the ceremony, and I heard one that went off. So check yourself before you write yourself. <laughs> Look at your phone. I said, there's been a lot of push ups being done here. We don't beat that check. Uh, before I read this uh, quick intro, I will utilize the moment to give a couple of shout outs to the uh, season leads. Well, Steve. Hennessy's and A Plus, can please stand up so we can recognize the problem. I'll give you a name to see, name to cry. Let's get it, let's get it. Name Chief? A Plus! I don't want to do it three times, so when, when you hear it, sound like you, like you mean it. Navy Chief. Although we didn't have a back to boot camp this year, that would have been the other team that was ready to get you exposed to. But because of our man, which today we broke another record on board with 13,041 recruits on board right now. That's the amount of responsibilities we have. With 1,038 staff members, which Roughly, we have, uh, we're on our way to the 15,000 mark. I sound like saying it, three carriers worth of people on board RTC. Good afternoon, commanding officers, chiefs, family, friends, and distinguished guests. It is my distinct honor to welcome you on behalf of the RTC Chief Mess and our guest speaker, Fleet Mass Chief Terrell, to this momentous FY25 Chief Painting Ceremony. Today, we gather to celebrate the culmination of a journey that has tested the integrity, character, and leadership of our newest Chief Petty Officers. Fleet Master Terrell, a native of Kings Fisher, Oklahoma, began his distinguished career in the Navy in April of 1989. 
Yeah. After graduating from King Fisher High School in 1988, from the challenging days of recruit training command in San Diego to his specialized training at Construction Electrician Day School in Port Bonini, California, he set the foundation for a career defined by resilience and dedication. His operational and leadership assignments have been both diverse and impactful. From supporting critical communications for the President at the White House Communications Agency to leading CBs in combat during Operation Iraqi Freedom. Throughout his service, he has embodied the core values of honor, courage, and commitment. As a command master chief and later as the 18th Force Master Chief of the Seas, Fleet Master Chief Terrell has been a guiding force for all sailors. He's not just a decorated leader, but also a mentor and a role model whose journey from a young recruit to Fleet Master Chief is a testament to what is possible through our perseverance and dedication. It is this spirit that we celebrate today as we welcome the next generation of chiefs into our ranks. Congratulations to our next generation of chiefs and families. Please, give them one. Your hard work, sacrifice, and determination have brought you to this proud moment. I encourage you to embody the legacy of Fleet Master Chief Terrell. Lead with integrity, serve with humility, and always strive for excellence. Thank you, and who you are, Chiefs, ladies and gentlemen, Fleet Master Chief Del Terrell. So they're not uh, thinking it's pretty easy. 
Trust me, I'll not talk long. As experience says, that people lose their attention after seven to ten minutes. So let's do this. The tone of the ship, the tone of the service itself, must come more directly from the chief petty officers than from any other group of people in the Navy. You have the standard. Live up to it. That is from our 1918 Blue Jacket Spaniel. There are so many different ways to describe a chief petty officer. As chiefs, we must continue to be humble, be honest, and leave a legacy. The Urban Dictionary, sometimes it's pretty good, defines humble as an admirable quality that not many people possess. It means that a person may have accomplished a lot, or have a lot, but doesn't feel it's necessary to advertise or brag about. As chief petty officers, it's not about sins. It's not about walking. It's not about reality. It's not about Bolden. It's not about Cecilia Martinez, Hodgebraver, or Terra. It's about those anchors where they have been, and what they have accomplished that has brought us here today. A prime example of that, February 19, 1942. Northwest of Cape Esperance, USS William B. Preston's Battle of Damage Report. Bear with me. Completed night engagement with Japanese cruiser destroyer force. Sustained numerous shell hits. Shells penetrated frame 139, one foot above the waterline. Several sheer rivets and port shell plating frame 137 above waterline. Shell plating at the point dished outboard. Deck and compartment delta. 204 Lima, ruptured, shrapnel in several places beneath him. Shrapnel hole, four inches in diameter through the bottom of the ship. Frame, 137. One foot inboard of port shaft. Aft deck housing, almost completely destroyed by explosion and resultant fire. All accessories on main deck for a distance of 40 foot destroyed by explosion and shrapnel, including motor launch blown overboard, and two 25-man life floats. Av towing and hauser reel destroyed by fire. Shrapnel holes through various topside accessories, including stacks, four to the aft bulkhead of the galley deck house. Number two, forage gun, placed out of action by shrapnel to the breach. Burial at sea, conducted for 14 officers and crew, 21 wounded. Commander Burke, I am concerned about being able to accomplish my mission. I've lost most of my officers and crew. From Commander Task Unit, 64 TAC 2, TAC 1. Received your battle damage report. You still have Navy Chiefs. You know what to do. Good hunting. Army Burke sends. Chiefs, this is the heritage you are stepping into. Do not take it lightly. Do not ever take it lightly. It was about doing the right thing, accomplishing the mission, and taking care of your people, both senior and junior. Not only is it important to be humble, it is a must for us to be honest as chief head officers. It is expected 
We have to be honest with those seniors. Command Master Chiefs, our peers, regardless of the news is good or bad. When you are mentoring that junior personnel, they ask you a question. Be honest. They ask you that question for a reason. If they wanted a canned answer, they could go on Google and type it in. But they don't. They want to hear from you and your experiences. That is what we do. Over these last few weeks, you have learned to experience the possibility of someone to senior, someone senior to you, that might not like the truth. And we'll get a little emotional to you because it is the truth. And how dare you let them know that. The weight of these anchors are heavy. The weight of these anchors are heavy. But we are confident in your ability to lead. The strong foundation of our heritage is due to the thousands of chief petty officers who've gone before us. They've kept it real. I challenge you to keep it real in molding and mentoring our sailors, E1 to O10. Since April 1st, 1893, a legacy was created, established, and born. If we, if you, can inspire one person, what would that legacy be? I say again, what's your legacy going to be, FY25 Chiefs? To the spouses and family members in the room today, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for what you do each and every day. You absolutely have the toughest job, without a doubt. There are no words that can express our gratitude and what you do for us. Thank you. because my wife Kelly is not here. So hopefully no one's recording this. Okay, to the spouses of these FY25 chiefs, there's going to be a time that they're, it's going to happen somewhere in the next year. They're going to be at work, they're going to be in chief mode, and they're going to be getting after it, and they're going to come home, and they're going to think that you're a recruit, and they're going to think that you're a little sailor. Uh, they might have choice words, but I distinctly remember this with Kelly because uh, she was very clear in her tone when this happened and said, I am not one of your little motivators. And there are some other words that follow, and I was like, uh, uh, yes ma'am, yes senior chief, yes master chief, what do I say now? That only happened once. So you have absolute authority to give them bread and water forever, put them in a corner, I will sit outside, you have that authority to do that. But trust me, between now and the next 12 months, that will happen. All right, back to the As I conclude, I am confident President Lincoln could have been a chief petty officer. As he describes our third core value, commitment. He said, commitment is what transforms a promise into reality. It is the words that speak boldly of your intentions and the actions that speak louder than words. It is making time when there is none, coming through time after time after time, year after year after year. It is maybe the time when there is none. I said that. I'm so excited. Commitment is the stuff that character is made of. The power to change the face of things. It is a daily triumph of integrity over skepticism. 
Chiefs, all of us, we must continue to be committed. We must continue to be humble, be honest, leave a legacy. And once again, we must stay committed. Committed to our Constitution, our Navy, ourselves, and most importantly, our families. Thank you for allowing me to hang out with you this week and today. Surely I'm home. Thanks again.
by which we must be kept steadfast in faith and encouraged to abide in our proper station amidst the storm of temptation, affliction, and persecution. Attention to Foggy. Rob, commanding officer, crew training command. Two, fiscal year 2025, chief select leaders. Subject, authority to assume the title and wear the uniform of chief pay officer. Reference, Uber Destruction, 1430.16. Under reference A, you are hereby authorized to assume the title and wear the uniform of the chief pay officer. Effective 27 September 2024. Your appointment carries with it the obligation that you exercise increased authority and willingly accept greater responsibility. Occupying now a position of greater authority, you must strive for renewed dedication toward the valued ideal of service with honor. Congratulations. Please be seated. As each selectee is called, for those who will pay captain with chief insignia and cover, join the selectee front and center. I ask that you please hold your applause until all selectees are pinned, regroup, and have you formally introduced collectively as chiefs. I will be starting from their right. Bosun, post the sidelines. Chief Select, Zachary Klein. Chief Select, John Cochran. Chief Select, Derek Dunwood. Chief Select, Naomi Duncan. Chief Select, Roderick Fabregas. Chief Select, Josiah Feeney. Chief Select, Catherine Fleming.
I'm going to strike two bells. Chief John Cochran arriving. Time will strike two bells. Chief Dirk Dunham arriving. Time will strike two bells. Chief Naomi Dunham arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Roderick Fabregas arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Josiah Bean arriving. Time will strike two bells. Chief Catherine Fleming arriving. Chief Select Lane Fur. Chief Select Ari Gowan. Chief Select Trevor Greco. Chief Select Eddie Guerrero. Chief Select. Chad Asher, Chief Select Douglas Hawkins, Chief Select Juan Hernandez.
time I will try two bells. Chi, lane verb, arriving. Time order, strike two bells. Chi, Aaron Downer, arriving. Time order, strike two bells. Chi, Trevor Gregor, arriving. Come on! <laughs> Time order, strike two bells. Chi, Eddie Guerrero, arriving. Time order, strike two bells. Chi, Chad Hatcher, arriving. Time order, strike two bells. Chief, Douglas Hawkins, arriving. Go, Bryce! Time order, strike two bells. Chief, Juan Hernandez, arriving. Chief Select, Melanie Anderson. Chief Select, Kathleen Henry. Chief Select, Brandon G. Chief Select, Michael Lackaway. Chief Select, Brian Amy. Chief Select, Robert Ingham. Chief Select, Morgan Maloney.
call out. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Melanie Henderson arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Kathleen Henry arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Brandon G arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Michael Lackle arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Brian Lee arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Robert Leon arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Morgan Maloney arriving. Chief Select, Marion Naples. Chief Select, Joshua Bauer. Chief Select, Anthony McRae. Chief Select, Christopher McCready. Chief Select, Justin Letters. Chief Select, Christopher Manessis.
Chief Marlon Maples arriving. Time order will strike two bells. Chief Joshua Bauer arriving. Time order will strike two bells. Chief Anthony McRae arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Christopher McCready arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Justin Meadows arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Christopher Manessis arriving. Chief Select Reba Miller. Chief Select Clayton Miller. Chief Select Mitchell Mishaw. Chief Select Kadeem Mitchell. Chief Select Harry Mitchell. Chief Select Courtney Muhammad. Chief Select Silvio Osorio. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Clayton Miller arriving. Time order to strike two bells. Chief Mitchell Mission arriving. Time order, strike two bells. 
Chief Kadeem Mitchell, arriving. I'm on it. Strike. Two bells. Chief Terry Mitchell, arriving. Time on it. Strike. Two bells. Chief Courtney Muhammad, arriving. Time on it. Strike. Two bells. Chief Silvio Osorio, arriving. Chief Select, Eric Brown, Chief Select, Taylor Brown, Chief Select, Nolan Raimundo, Chief Select, Andrew Reese, Chief Select, Jordan Reckman, Chief Select, Joseph Rios, Chief Select, Alain Rodriguez. Time order me, strike two bells. Chief Caleb Rausch, arriving. Time order me, strike.
strike two bells. Chief Nolan Raimundo arriving. I'm only strike two bells. Chief Jordan Brackman, arriving. Time only strike two bells. Chief Joseph Rios, arriving. Time for the strike two bells. Chief Alain Rodriguez, arriving. Chief Select William Rose, Chief Select Jose Sabagne, Chief Select Anthony Spence, Chief Select Savio Thompson, Chief Select Jesse Walborn. Chief Select Hassan Webb. Chief Select Jeffrey Watson. Time for the strike, two bells. Chief Jose Savane, arriving.
Time for the strike. Two bells. Chief Anthony Spence arriving. Time on the strike, two bells. Chief Samuel Thompson, arriving. Time on the strike, two bells. Chief Jesse Walford, arriving. Time on the strike, two bells. Chief Hassan Ware, arriving. Let's go, Hassan! 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 Time on the strike, two bells. Chief Jeffrey Watson, arriving. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that we introduce to you the Navy's newest Chiefs. This concludes our petty ceremony. I invite everyone to congratulate our newest Chief Petty Officer.